In my previous video, I have already explained rearrangement of carbocation. Rearrangement of carbocation is needed to get a stable carbocation from a less stable carbocation. And this rearrangement of carbocation takes place due to hydride shift or methyl shift. This is isobutyl carbocation. It is a primary carbocation. When this beta hydrogen shift is taking place, we are getting tertiary carbocation which is more stable. Second example is 3-methyl 2-butyl carbocation. This is beta carbon, this is also beta carbon. It contains two types of beta hydrogen. But if this beta hydride shift takes place, we will get a primary carbocation. So definitely reaction will not move in this direction. Rather than the beta hydrogen of left hand side beta carbon, the hydride shift takes place, we get 3 degree carbocation, which is more stable than the secondary carbocation. Next example is a methyl ship. It's, it is a neopentyl carbocation. This is beta carbon. Beta carbon does not contain any beta hydrogen, but it contains one methyl. So methyl ship takes place to get a stable 3 degree carbocation. Last example is 3,3 dimethyl 2 butyl carbocation. It is a 2 degree carbocation. Here also methyl ship takes place and we get a stable 3 degree carbocation. So these are examples of rearrangement of carbocation to get a stable carbocation from a less stable carbocation.